Okay, so my topic is shuriken soup, and I understand it's going to be getting a bit repetitive now. But I'm sorry. So, my, so should, why should we be allowed to have sharks? <laughs> so, in the food chain, if we hunt the sharks, it'll, it will, um, it will, so if the sharks overpopulate, they'll eat most of the fish, and as, um, who is it? As somebody prior to me said, the food chain can get messed up, and that will also affect jobs, etc., etc. And it's tasty. I mean, like, shouldn't we be allowed to treat ourselves once in a while with the shark fin soup? I mean, we do plenty of other things that are horrible to this environment, and we're not really doing anything about that, are we? So, I, I, see, I don't see why we should be able to treat ourselves once in a while. And so it's the way of nature. I mean, the food chain, man is on top. So, kind of back to the food chain. Man is on top, then a bunch of other stuff, sharks, fish, smaller fish, algae, bacteria, and so if the sharks are allowed to eat other things, why aren't we allowed to have to eat the sharks? So why should we not be allowed to have sharks? It's a waste. All we do is take the fin of the shark and we leave the shark to die. That's like somebody taking, some, taking you, cutting your arms off, like cutting off your arms and legs so you can't move and leaving you there to die. So I think it's personal waste. I think we should be allowed to eat them if we eat the entire shark. But if we're if we're just eating the fin, it's it's horrible. And what did the sharks do to us? Honestly, there are plenty of other food sources out there. Why do we always pick the sharks? So back to the food chain. If we do not hunt the sharks, what will happen to the food chain? The fi like, so the sharks will overpopulate, the fish will grow, they'll eat the smaller fish, and it's kind of a kind of like a domino thing. The sharks get lower, the uh, big fish get higher, lower, higher, lower, higher, etc., etc. So what is Canada? Do? Well, right now, Calgary itself is, um, is trying to set up a bylaw against shark fin soup. So by saying that there is, it, like, it's a, it's a bylaw to eat it or and to sell it, I guess. So um, there are already several bans that have been put in place throughout Canada's provinces. Um, actually, I believe the UN has been doing something about this, but most of the provinces have actually said, we're not going to wait for that, and they just put up a ban themselves. And several MPs, so the national government, are put up. But then that's the question: is is that really enough? And actually, here we have a picture of an MP who's actually fighting against shark fin soup, and yet she was caught eating. Kind of so my personal, I say no. <laughs> I think that for, well, really, all of the reasons, since slide three, so we shouldn't, it's a waste, it's a, oh, 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 oh. it's a waste. What do the sharks do to us and the food chain? Yep, yep. 